All those male tears because women are taking over Star Wars. Makes for delicious tea. You're a sick, twisted, fucked up person. Uh, there are these people upset about a Star Wars feminist agenda. I'm thirsty and man tears sound delicious. Again, sick, twisted person. Who the fuck just posts about that? Who's just like, yeah, oh yeah, I totally want to drink men's tears. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Ugh. Mm. Ah, sorry. I am fucking dying. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep going. I haven't even gone an hour yet. Wow. But I, I'm just, I, you can see it on the camera. I'm just covered in sweat. Like I was tagged in something. Uh, this one crazy bitch on Twitter is threatening, or she was threatening to attack me because I went to LA Comic Con months and months ago and I cosplayed as my favorite webtoon character. And she's saying that I don't, that I should be banned from all Comic Cons because apparently I'm, what, what is her words? Let me go find it. Ichibaka tagged me uh, in the tweet, but but apparently, apparently, guys, I am a crazy conservative a political person, and uh, where, 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 where is it? Uh, uh, it's, it's, I'm also a cunt, apparently. Well, I guess you can say that about a lot of women, but uh, apparently, I am a stupid fandom menace cunt that cosplayed as one of this person's favorite characters. It's like, well, yeah, I, it's my favorite character too. Uh, and I'm a stupid bitch and I shouldn't get to consume media. That's clearly not for me. And uh, I'm a dumbass conservative. I don't get to partake in the very art that I'm against. So this is a comic that I support financially because, uh, and Webtoon, Webtoon is free. And then you, uh, they have chapters that come out. So chapters come out every week. And if you read all the chapters, they have bonus chapters that you pay coins to buy. I have been paying coins for over a year and a half now. I've been financially supporting this comic. I dressed up like it. I spoke to the woman that created the comic and told her how much I'm a fan of it and how that it really helped me out you know when my sister was missing and when she passed because I it was just something that I was, and there was so fucking nice to me but the bet because on Twitter oh my god I'm hitting behind a keyboard I would have totally fucked this bitch up if I was in LA it's like oh my god you psycho so you see what they did to Star Wars girl here um or that Star Wars girl has got a great YouTube channel but um you know I've been on YouTube now for a long time and I've seen this hypocrisy it's kind of crazy you look at what happened to me on Twitter yesterday. I was banned for the fifth time on Twitter. Technically, I'm I'm perma banned on Twitter. I'm VP banned, all for saying a joke of MTV hates white people. And now uh, they've found my new account. So I've created a new account, which is um, you know, mod it'll be handled by a whole bunch of people. Um, but it's uh, JCS Commentary is the name of my new Twitter. Follow me on that at JCS Commentary. I'm also on Gab and Instagram and Facebook and all those places. But see how they attack this girl because they think she's like a conservative or whatever when she's clearly not even a conservative. She's and even if she was, who cares, right? So that that's how sick people are. Like they want to go attack her and they call for violence, but they're not banned. They're not banned on Twitter. Calling for violence against that Star Wars girl is not deemed violent or or they they allow it on Twitter. Um, but jokes are not allowed on Twitter from certain people. Now, I'm banned for life, so it doesn't matter what I do. But the fact of the matter is there's some rules for some people and there's other rules for other people. So it's okay to say you're going to go, you know, F this girl up at a Comic-Con. And it's also like this weird possessive behavior. Back in high school, there was a girl who had... Uh, I remember girls like would fight over like the same thing if they had both had purple hair... Or, or something like that, they would be like, ew, I have, she stole my hair, I'm going to kick her ass. Or she stole my sweatshirt, I'm going to kick her ass. And these are like grown adults, though. These are grown adults, uh, or, or at least people over the age of 21 and 20, saying that they're going to beat her up because she cosplayed as her favorite Star Wars character. By the way, this girl doesn't call for violence in any of her videos and doesn't call for anything. The only thing she does is talk about the hypocrisy and the, the downward trend of Star Wars and, and all kinds of other things. She just basically talks about what we kind of all talk about. And she's not even that visceral. She just kind of calls things out for like, this is why this sucks. This is why we don't like this. This is why we don't like that. Here's why we did like these things. 
And she pretty much never calls for these for violence or for crazy shit. She's just a normal person. I actually thought she I would think she's a liberal to be honest. I mean, but a, a classic liberal, not a not a whatever they are now. By the way, um the liberal the liberal side will never win again if they don't get out of this funk they're in. I remember when the Republicans were in this funk and I was like, dude, the Republicans are never going to win a presidency again or never going to win this or that again. But um, I remember thinking they'd just bury themselves. Like, Obama's going to be president twice. Like, they're going to probably be another Democrat. And then the Democratic Party went nuts. And now they're, like, now the Democratic Party is, like, fascist. The Democratic Party is fascism and just, I don't know, like, all these different bad things, communistic, like, totalitarianism. I can't even say the fucking word. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Marxism. Like, there's just so much of Marxist type of stuff in there. Like, just weird, author- even authoritarian, like, every bad type of thing there is, it feels like different groups now embody that. It's very weird. Um, and, and I've always, I've always, I don't like political parties, either one, I really don't. But it, it, it's weird how they'll, they'll just blame you for everything. Like, because I just said that, like, I would be called, like, I've been called, and I, I know this is true because it happens to me. I get screamed at and called a crazy Republican. You know what I mean? People call me a crazy Republican. Uh, but the Republicans call me a crazy tree-hugging liberal. So it's really hard for me to have an identity um, or to figure out what my identity is here because I get called the opposite by each side. So I really, I, I hate both sides. Um, and I honestly can't wait till everything just burns, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, so that Star Wars girl, man, got attacked, threatened. Um, and And those people's Twitters are probably still up. So there you go. You can threaten and attack and do whatever on Twitter. Uh, but if you, if you if you say something funny about a celebrity, uh-oh, that's where they draw the line. Or if you say MTV hates white people as a joke, um, referencing Kanye West, um, y- you know, you'll, you'll come down. So my Twitter is down again because I'm permanently banned and they found me. But uh, that's what they do, man. That's how they control everybody. And uh, the more that they do this and the more that people act this way, the more there's going to be a pushback from, honestly, a lot of people who would have actually probably been on the side of the people who are angry. You know, it's funny. A lot of these people would actually probably be on the side of the left wing. You know, a lot of these people would actually probably drift to the left side. They probably were independents, sort of, who would drift to the left and just vote left. But the left has forced them out. And in some cases, in many cases, the left has forced them to vote right-wing politics. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah, man, I think it's really dangerous that these people are... They're, they're, they're trying to get her banned from doing cosplay and from going to comic cons. That's what this is. They're trying to get her banned. But, but, and they probably could. They probably will, maybe even. But they'll never ban the girls who all said, let's fuck her up when we get there, or we should have fucked her up. And those girls will be cosplaying away in California, like, hee hee. And they'll be laughing that she's banned. And that is unbelievable. Like, that is bully mentality, and you're rewarding it. I guess because they, they're, they, they agree with your politically, I guess, or like somewhat. I don't know. Why, why does YouTube reward bullies? Why does Twitter reward bullies? Why, why, why do the, like, the movie companies keep rewarding bullies and then they lose money and they wonder why they're losing money. It's because you're fucking rewarding bullies. Nobody wants to see this. And, um, now there's a new person in charge of all the female star Wars characters or something. It's like a psycho feminist person. I mean, dude, you might as well just bury star Wars right now. Just bury star Wars in the ground. Now let me play devil's advocate on that. Play devil's advocate for, for a minute. I think it is highly possible that Disney's all-around agenda was to make a Star Wars movie, to make Star Wars movies, but to also make them, like, appeal to this agenda. You know what I mean? Uh, kind of bash from the men a little bit, but push the women up ridiculously, like, over the top. And now I think they realize that doesn't work. So now I think that they're going to sort of revert to a more, like, catering more to a male audience because it seems like when they cater to the male audience or, or little boys and males that the females just show up anyway they end up liking stuff too and coming along for the ride 
a lot of times, though, when they seem to cater to the females and it's over the top, a, a lot of um, the, the grown male audience kind of doesn't get it. And even the female audience doesn't get it. And even a lot of the kids don't get it. Like, sure, you have some girls who are interested that wouldn't have been interested before, but pretty much all, most of the boys shut it down, and most of the adults certainly shut it down. And I think the fact of the matter is, people do want to see women kick ass at times. They do. And, and they can if they if it calls for it, if it makes sense, and if they're good. But I think there's also a lot of women who enjoy guys kicking ass. I, I, I think there's a lot of women who kind of enjoy when... Um, that goes down. I don't know what that means. It's not me. It's it's. I'm not saying I I agree 100. percent I mean, I watched Aliens. I I want to see Ripley kick ass. So it doesn't matter. There's so many examples. It doesn't matter. Female or male, it doesn't matter as long as the story's honest. But if you're just doing a story to stick some kind of agenda in it and force everybody to like it because you said so, and then while you're at it, kick a guy in the balls because we want to show you how much tougher the women are than the men. What? Like, it's just weird. And so I think they hired this feminist lady so that she could sort of be in charge of some of the women so that they could do the sort of cowboy back to the way they used to tell stories thing and cater to the mass population instead of catering to this feminist agenda um, or this weird um, new SJW agenda. But maybe that they could have this 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 female SJW psycho lady on hand to help write the women better so they don't write the women too weak or something. You know, so I think that that's what it is. I think it's a compromise. I think a lot of people aren't seeing that. I think that it's a compromise. So I think they're going to go into letting the directors and the writers do what they want to do and throw the agenda aside. However, they're going to have sort of a, a checklist person there for the females. But won't that just be almost as bad? I mean, I don't know. But that's what they've done by hiring this new person at Disney and in Star Wars. <sighs> Man, the, the world is weird. Why does this even exist? It's the year 2020. Do you realize that we we every year we, we were making more advancements in everything? And even in, um, you know, in um, diversity. We were just making more advancements in diversity. Going back to 1950 to 1960 to 1970, to 1980, to 1990, to the 2000s. And, and I really think that around the 2000s is when the shift really changed. Like, even in the 90s, you know what I mean? They still had, like, a lot of black guys just are in a movie to die. Um, you know, they would never be the hero usually somehow. There were these back backstage type of things. And, and right, right around, just around 2000 and after, it, it really became part of our culture to... Uh, just kind of do whatever we wanted, um, even the late 90s, and even in the 90s, but still, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like we, you can see the progression of our diversities and race and how we've accepted people going back to the 50s, to the 60s, to the 70s, to the 80s, you know what I mean? Um, and it's weird because why in the years like 2016 and beyond, did that suddenly take a giant step backwards? And everybody is, like, delusional that we're, like, in the 1940s or something. It's so crazy to me. It's like, well, wait a minute. Women already started conquering the workplace in 1980. Women got business jobs, and women got jobs, like, that were better than their husbands. There was tons of movies made about it. Hell, even in the 90s, there was a bunch of movies where the, where the women were always more successful than the guys, constantly. And it wasn't a ha-ha, it's in your face it was like a like just a normal thing like oh yeah that ha that's w women do this they they can be crazy good they can be they can be the owner of a company and the and the dad can be at home you know that happens the movie stay tuned with john ritter like he's a plumber salesman he's like sucks and his wife is a super successful business lady it's like that was the 90s that happened all the time so why in the 2016s is everybody so paranoid and regressed into like oh my god like we better represent everything like, what are we talking about? Like, Star Trek had already equalized everything in the 90s. Why is now it super overcompensating? It's just weird. Everything is bizarre now. And nobody likes it. That's the thing is nobody likes it. T they need to dial it back a little bit. And they don't. I don't know if they understand that. They need to dial it back a little bit. 
And you're letting people who want to beat up and maim this girl at a Comic-Con uh, exist on Twitter. Uh, we should have been there to beat the shit out of her. We should have kicked the shit out of her and gotten her fucking banned from Comic-Con. She's a slut, cunt. But um, but I'm banned on Twitter, you know. It, it's just crazy. Um, but that's the world we live in now, and uh, that's why nobody believes government, nobody believes politics, and nobody believes most people on YouTube anymore who are big, and nobody believes any of the news or anything. Nobody believes anything anymore because it's all, you're all full of shit out there, and I have the answers for you, but you don't uh, you don't like the answers. But I'm here to tell you that I'm going to feed you dog shit, and you're going to like it. This is Corrupted Nation. I'm Joe Cronin. Hit me up on my new Twitter account, at JCS Commentary. At JCS Commentary on Twitter. Instagram.com, Joe Cronin Show. And Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. I just put up a one-hour note to self on my Patreon. Check it out. Don't miss it. And I'll see you guys later. Here's a clips you might have missed popping up right now, including Leafy and Tommy getting in it again, and Tommy wants to fight Leafy. Look at this video.